Greetings, hello, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi, this is episode number four, and for today's episode, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a focus just on our highway network. I was thinking that what we ended up making for our transit hub, let's back up a little bit here, loud uh, police car too, what I was thinking is this this highway here, it's just, I don't think it's going to scale upwards very well. So, like, we've got very little volume already, but I'm starting to notice a bit of gridlock. And realistically, without the left-hand turning lane being separated from just our main driving lane, this also has the potential to back up once the city gets a bit bigger. So I've just, you know, I've done this kind of configuration for some residential neighborhoods. I thought it looked kind of nifty. I was hoping maybe it would transfer over to, uh, you know, it's a highway configuration. It looks kind of cool. But just for this uh, setup, I don't think it's going to work. Maybe if this was like a rural area, uh, some farmland or something next to it, it would possibly work because the uh, traffic density would just stay nice and low like this. But really, when we fill this in, this will just be a backup to the main highway. So let's be preemptive. Uh, let's rebuild this. And even though it's a little bit early on, I think we're going to try redoing some of these highway interchanges here. And we unfortunately don't have access to this area yet because we haven't bought the tile. But we can just talk about what we're, we're going to do. That'll be kind of a segue into, uh, into the next one. And then if time permits, maybe we can tack on a little bit more uh, uh, zoning and neighborhoods in here. Get the city ever so larger. And I just want to show you guys something really awesome too. Take a look at this. Our uh, population still around 4,800, 5,000 or so. Take a look at this. 10% of the population not using our uh, our public transit. So just these new lines here. Big difference already. So let's, uh, yeah, let's pause the game because we're going to be disrupting the lines and just for simplicity's sake, instead of having our, our poor computer recalculate every two seconds here, we'll just pause it. Let's see, I'm going to give us just a little bit more room, I think, with the uh, the highway and the road right here. It doesn't really change our, our master plan to have uh, rails and uh, like a bike corridor come through here. It just means that the highway will be on the outskirts now. Uh, let's let's do some, some math here, just so we have enough room for a bridge and stuff. So I'd ideally like to be, I think, 12 units out. Let's back that up. That gives us at least a room for a bridge. Uh, that we have about 10 units or so. Yeah, so that should be, be nice. I don't want anything too steep. Hopefully this looks pretty uh, pretty well engineered. All right, so just sticking with what we had before for the highway, let's go back over to this. That actually turned out really nicely. I was thinking maybe we would need to terraform, but I think we're okay with that. We most likely just keep this going straight. And then I think for over here, what we could do is something kind of custom and fun. So hopefully some, some part of this gives you guys some inspiration for your own cities here. But we may need to build this in a couple stages. But I want just something kind of, yeah, very unique here. So let's start with this side. And see how close I can get here. I wouldn't say that's overly close. Maybe I can get closer. Don't be afraid to do this kind of stuff, just to get some extra zoning squares and, and some help with alignment. There, so now I can get a little bit better, right? Maybe if I even delete a segment of this when I put it back in. There's that, and then there's that. Okay, so that's probably too close. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Alright! That's what I'm after this whole time. That was a little bit tricky. So a lot of people ask me all the time, so I I play normally with mods. I really, really enjoy the vanilla challenge though. So for me what I'll do is I'll use mods to kind of craft this kind of stuff, and then I love switching back to vanilla, and just I really enjoy the challenge of trying to recreate something that I've done with mods without mods. Obviously you can't get 100% accuracy, but this looks pretty darn sharp so far. Very happy with this. And the idea of this if, if you're going this direction and you want to get off the highway, go into here, now you've got a little separate sidearm. So we're not going to have to worry about this getting too backed up. So cross, uh, you know, knock on wood, that should be okay. But it's preemptive strikes, or yeah, preemptive action here to make sure that traffic doesn't get too backed up. So we'll have this now go up and over, and you'll see what we're doing with this side. So I'll go to by three, there we go, just so it's not too steep looking. Perfect. And, oh, hmm. Another idea has just presented itself to me. Oh, ho, ho, okay, we're going one step further here. All right. 
So what I'm going to instead do now is have this go up as a uh, as an exit and go right into uh, this ramp right here. But we've got to get that just spaced properly. So why don't we bring this forward so that we get the road guidelines to help us out with that. Go up to our desired height. Make sure those two are in line. And then now when we delete this and redraw it, oh yes, that's what I'm after. That looks pretty darn sharp so far. So we just need the way off going like this. Perfect. I think what we could do is have the way on right here, or we could have that go a different direction. So let's do the way on, I guess, over here. And if you guys remember, 12 units is that magic number to get the slope just right. And here's another trick too. See how this wants to bubble slightly outward? See when I do that, see how it just makes that little little lip right there? If you want to avoid that, this is really neat. We're going to switch this road. I'm trying to do in a convenient spot here, so this is next level. I'm just going to take a regular old road here. I'm doing this so I can create another node point. So I want one, say, right about there or so. I'm now going to switch over to the skinnier highway. And then when I draw this in... Oh, almost. Let me try that on this side too. Now when I draw this in... There we go. See how that looks nice and sharp? Now I should be able to upgrade this. There we go. Otherwise that would have been a short tutorial. That's principally what I'm after, just for the on and off. Just for this side of the highway. And then we're going to do something separate for the other side. Just, just to be different. So let's cross the street. We're going to cross the highway. And let's now do a corkscrew downward. Let's go five by five. Actually, let's go a little bit further out. Don't need to do ten by ten. Let's go eight. Okay, so I'm scaling downward. And I'm going to do, I think, principally the same kind of idea. We're going to have a little little support arm next to it just to, to help with this. And I'm intentionally not using the same intersection just to kind of cut back on AI silliness. So hopefully none of the cars will, uh, will make any strange U-turns. I might even stretch that a little bit further out, just to give us a bit more room for the cars to just accelerate and queue and kind of merge safely, I guess. Awesome. Now, we could have made this look a little bit uh, tighter and a bit more planned, and we could have done that by just kind of following the same steps as over here. But what I was hoping to do was maybe add some foliage, so trees, maybe some rocks, that kind of stuff too, so... We've got ample room for that now. This is looking pretty darn cool, I think. I like this a lot. And then I think what I'm going to do, just to make it so that the speed isn't astronomical through here, let's scale this part down so that the trucks and everyone making the turns don't look like they're about to like drive right off the road. <clears throat> okay, so I'd like to see this in action now. It might help if I connect this back part. So we're going to now want to converge, I guess, right where that kind of meets. Uh, almost, that's kind of cool. Nice gentle curve inward, and then we know what we're doing with this, just kind of curving that around. Oh, that's great. Nice and symmetrical. Let's make this part here just a little bit longer for the one way. And then let's bring our counterpart in over there. Awesome. That's pretty cool. And then I think just to help a little bit with traffic flow, why don't we just go like that with a six lane approach? Awesome. What a difference. My oh my, a little bit of a fun challenge, right? And then just going 
kind of with that same vibe for the slower speeds through here, why don't we have the speed just kind of scale upwards? Even though we're using the two lane road here, only one lane will get used, just because of that whole, you know, the arrows and whatnot, right? In the dream world, nobody makes weird, silly U-turns. You might still see a few, but hopefully that does not happen here. Awesome. Now, uh, over on this side, we've basically got one large interchange kind of happening in between all of this. So you can kind of see we've got the way on and off the highway kind of happening here and there. Let's just try and make everything happen with this one bridge. And then we can maybe do something similar in terms of like, because what I'm going for here is a partial clover leaf interchange system. And I've used it a ton in other cities. I think they work really, really well. If you've never heard of one, I'll kind of go over the principles. It's going to be slightly unique over on this side, just because I don't quite have as much room to work with, just because of this kind of T configuration, whereas this goes a little bit further in, a bit more open. So this one will be custom. This will be a true partial clover leaf interchange system once we're done. But I'll kind of explain the logic and how they work and stuff. All right, so same kind of idea. Let's just pause the game. And these, I'm going to just get rid of. There's a chance something like this might go back in afterwards. We'll kind of see how it goes, though. And we're going to keep this. I do want to move our clinic, though. Let me just move it down one block here. fire station so the cars or this sorry the fire trucks will leave here they have very quick access to the roundabout if I put them on this side of the street because of the median they'd have to u-turn before they get to the roundabout so not as fast or as efficient okay so that's that side what I would also like to do is um, now just add a little uh, side road to help collect the uh, the traffic so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these roads here So you can think of this like an express and collector system. So we're going to do principally the same kind of idea, going in like this. And I wonder if I can upgrade, oh I can, cool. Alright, let's put our road and bridge back in place. And how expensive was that? 2660. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Nice level bridge. Got our little feeder arms here. And we can connect these up. And then I think the same idea would kind of apply here if we make this skinny. Right at the transition, we can get that nice tight road looking. And then boom, upgrade that. Now, unless we upgrade this the whole way down, no one's really going to use that second lane. But that's, that's totally not the end of the world. It's more of a decorative thing over here anyway. Let's get that going the right way. Awesome. Okay, so the way a partial cloverleaf system works, if we can get rid of this now, is in North America, where I happen to live, you guys know this, uh, we don't really use that many roundabouts and stuff, so we get bogged down constantly by things like traffic lights, right? So we've got these smart little ways of kind of dealing with them. So if you're... Uh, actually, let me just set this up the proper way here. So I would have... A little bit further. I would have a little road like this, right? And then we'd have our traffic light here. If you are going this direction, and you wanted to go onto the highway going to the right, you would enter via this little road right here. And we're going to do this just before the traffic light. And if I can get this a bit closer, that'd be fantastic. And the reason why we're doing it before the light, just because I, I was just saying, traffic lights, they slow us down a lot, right? So if this light is red, but we have the entrance before the traffic light, we're still getting on. No problem. So it's faster traffic flow. So let's go like that. There, and we're doing just enough room so that there could be a queue. So if the light's been red for a while, you're still likely to get on the highway. And this, no surprise, will connect right up over to here. Cool, right? If we wanted to, we could do maybe like a double lane or something to help with the merging, but 
It's a little challenging just with this one lane thing here. So this, this kind of works, I think, for what we're after. Now, if you're going over the bridge and you wanted to go that same direction on the highway, you would not turn left over here. That's just inefficient. So the whole goal of the partial clover release system is to have faster on-off flow and to reduce the amount of cars that are turning in front of each other. So it just kind of becomes a safer thing. So instead of cars coming down here and turning left, at this light, you would turn right. And in North America, in most cities, you can turn right on a red hand, uh, sorry, yeah, on a red light, sorry, you can turn right. That's what I'm trying to say. And maybe even sometimes they'd have a special little green arrow to, to signify that. And then, so yeah, you come in through here. In the dream world, we would use an asymmetrical road. We will need one lane leaving, right? And then this now goes like this and links up with that same road. This kind of meets with a little... So this could be a collector uh, express system. It could just be you know, a little setup just for this little transfer. But the principal idea is if you're on the highway and you're not exiting, just stay to the left. Keep on going. If you are exiting, there's your exit lane. If this gets backed up, it won't bug or slow down the, uh, the express. So there you go, there's that. And then this, of course, would meet up right there, right? And then this would just go from here over to here. And then just for a little bit of realism, that same kind of idea, I'm going to maybe slow traffic down slightly as they just approach here, just to make the turning stuff a little bit more, more practical. And then if we wanted to, uh, just because this spot here is where a lot of trucks and stuff are turning through, we theoretically could just attach one of these as well. And this is just a high-speed right-hand turning arm, and it's the same principal idea. If this light is red and you're turning right, this ain't going to slow you down. There may even be an extra lane here to help with the merging. No one should turn left here. You yeah, might see it, just because we don't have any mods or a way to disable it, but... We can make this maybe the more attractive route by slowing that down and making that road wider. So up to you if you want to do that. You might find this to be a little bit oversized crazy, but it works very well. I will caution you though, if you have uh, these a little bit too close together, you might sometimes see a bunch of uh, that kind of brake bubble effect. The AI traffic doesn't like to enter these little mini intersections if it's being blocked by another vehicle. So if the gridlock kind of comes, spills through here, you might see some of those uh, weird braking effects happen. So if that's happening on your roads, either change the spacing around, uh, double up your intersections, or just delete it altogether. So you might need to do a bit of a, a play with that. Uh, okay, so let's just get this side going. Because like I was saying, we don't really have the same amount of room to, uh, to work with. All right, so by that logic, we're gonna come in on a bit of an angle here. Just because we don't have that uh, that much room, right? And then for over here, on this side, I'm actually going to make the uh, the traffic go out through here. So let's uh, take our two lane one way, and let's sneak over like this, go inbounds like that. And that last little stretch can be uh, a bit faster. That's kind of fun. So it just helps spread the traffic load the volume down a little bit. And this subject to change, we'll see if this works. Uh, let's disable the traffic light here. Let's put a stop sign there. So people coming in have got to wait, just so that there's a bit of priority going for um, uh, people coming off the highway and people going this way just to get onto the highway. And of course, subject to change. We'll see how this kind of plays out. And then for here. And I'm just trying to do the same general curve. Looks kind of smooth and nice, I think. And then this one, I mean, we just don't really have the room. So that should be actually like this. And I don't know if we really need, per se, the, uh, the collector then like that. Or the other option, if we really wanted to do that, would be to make that go to here. And then make this curve. But so this doesn't look too bonkers. Let's just slow that down. But I mean, principally the same idea. I know this looks a little bit, a little bit insane, but kind of working with a tight spot here. All right, well, let's just see how it uh, performs with the uh, with the speed on. I'm hopeful though. All right, have we lost power? No, but we actually need to buy a new power plant. And we probably need a new um, garbage dump as well, just until we unlock the uh, incinerators. 
just drop that down. Let's put that nearby. And let's get another recycling facility going too. Great, so I'm gonna put it on three speed just so we can watch this right away. Oh, and I have not, of course, reconnected this. Almost got it all. Oh, fantastic. Visually, it looks pretty cool. We'll just watch it on three speed for a while. I don't think this actually looks all that bad. People are following the rules properly. They're turning right here, getting onto the highway. I might even make this the two lane as well. If we can, uh, if we can fit that. No. Of course not. That's okay, though. See, I might maybe explore and change this slightly off camera. So that just could be changed. Uh, whatever I do end up keeping, if it's this or another one, I will also beautify it off camera. But the same kind of idea is going to be happening here. Tons of rocks, tons of trees. Just kind of a copycat of what's looking in the hills right over in here. And when it comes to this interchange here that's just outside of the city, what we're eventually going to do is make the highway go up and straight over. So this becomes a four-way. And we'll do another version of the partial cloverleaf interchange. And then just to mix things up, I think what we'll do is we'll redo this one in the form of a double crossover merging interchange, one of those DCMIs, just to kind of show you guys some uh, some other cool stuff. And I'd like to maybe try doing some in-town uh, uh, partial cloverleaf release systems too. And this honestly working great as well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, well, I did say that if we did have a few extra minutes, we would do some construction for some neighborhoods. So a man of my word, let's try and get our population a little bit higher here. We might even be able to get one more unlock pretty close to that uh, busy town. This is really what we're after, though, the big town. So we get a bit more public transit to work with. We can start doing some uh, simple metro lines. We also get a new tile, which allow us to buy the one that has the, um, uh, goodness, the highway connection in it. We're going to then also unlock the, um, what is it called? I can't even speak right here. The IT buildings, and we get high density in general. And we also, goodness, so many things unlocked at that level. We also get incinerators. And this is just going to stay simple for the moment. But expect probably something like that, too. I didn't mean to kind of neglect this. All right, so let's just do what we've been doing. And I'll kind of show you guys what I mean, like, with how that would work in town, that same kind of setup. Let's just pause for a split second. We're about to lose our connection. So this is what I originally had for the highway. This is what I was thinking was going to work with the, with the volume. Well, I mean, it works with the volume we have, but it just wouldn't work with the volume going forward. And let's just go in from here. If we had these if we wanted to, we could have them share the same... Oh, well, I guess I guess the slope. Well, you know what? Never mind. Oh, there we go. Nope, it doesn't work. Yeah, so this is what I was doing in... Um... I don't mean to be so incisive. Goodness gracious me. But yeah, so this is what I tried doing in town, and I was hoping that would work with our highway. That's kind of fun. And then just to, you know, cut back on the intersection, same old song and dance. Let's back that up into a stop sign, have priority flow for inbound traffic, put the stop signs there too. Just put a few down. Do that as traffic lights, because why not? And it's very steep, so I don't necessarily think we're going to do a uh, road bridge between these two, but I would love to have something like a pedestrian crossing come down. Definitely want to make sure we're doing lots and lots of these in the uh, throughout the city still. Let's try and do this near a intersection. And let's just go across with a. There we go. Super easy peasy. Sometimes simple is best. And then, heck, you know what? Let's go across here, too. A little bit steep, so... Let's go further. And then we'll just have this come down and... 
probably serve. Oh, it's a little bit more challenging than I thought. No. no. Yes, yeah, so let's have this go up. Uh, it's being extraordinarily uncooperative. So, never mind. So what am I even thinking here? All right, well, I do want those kind of things, but I just don't think that's the right spot for it. So forget that. I guess maybe A for effort, but that went nowhere quickly. Let's do one little side street in here just so we get some traffic moving around. And I'm actually just going to up this. But I'm still going to keep it as uh, stop signs. And this will just be living space. I don't think we need to drop any services down. Maybe we can do a bit of zoning through here. And these fires, oh my goodness! They will be the absolute end to me. Oh well, wouldn't be an episode without a fire, right? I had a great suggestion come in over uh, Twitter, and I'm so sorry for forgetting who it was who suggested it. But if you're running into a big forest fire, you can use the uh, bulldoze key and just kind of bulldoze away. Just kind of make this little firewall, as it were, to stop the uh, the advancing flames. Alright, let's put on three speed. Let's... Em no, I guess we'll keep that not empty. Still need the incinerator for that. Well, let's take a look at services. Well, I guess we do need something in here. Okay, so a school and a plaza or something to go with it. That's behind it, that'd be nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. And then possibly a fire station over here too. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's put that closer to this intersection right here. That way if they need to, they can go straight on in or down through here. We're getting power. Okay. No. I seem to be very indecisive right now. I don't know what's going on with that. There. Nice park in the middle right there. Uh, I'm going to delete these power lines because we don't need them anymore. We're going to reclaim the zoning squares. And let's maybe drag out these uh, pathways here. Awesome. Very steep, but heck, why not? Can I get rid of that house? Will that help? It will. Okay, so let's unzone. And then, you know, as a bonus, that helps kind of cut through with the. Uh, little pathway system we were trying to go for there. I like that a lot. And let's take a look now at just a traffic, make sure our flow and everything is doing well. Probably should have opened this up before, but I can tell you conclusively it was very, very red before, so this looks absolutely fantastic. Our traffic flow is 89, I saw 90%, 91? What on earth? This is amazing. All we need really is a higher population to kind of really test this out. That's fantastic. So yeah, it's a little bit of a recap here. Nice speedy on-off system. You can dodge the light. Make your way on across the street. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this. We'll beautify it. It's working really well. I don't see any backlogs happening over there. This looks great. Kind of fun. All right, friends. I don't mean to be so all over the place. What the heck? What happened? What happened this episode? My goodness. Uh, drop me your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried something like this in your own cities. Maybe you guys can share some screenshots of stuff you've done, too. Oh no, I see these people are making the left. That's not supposed to happen. I will do some more experimenting. But yeah, friends, let me know. We've got a Discord. Send me stuff on Twitter. Uh, yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Looking forward to the comments and uh, happy building. Hope this helps. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All the best.